Here we go. Finally, finally found some of this. Been looking for table coral for a while now. That looks like we can scan this too. Crescent moon coral. This is the last thing we need, the table coral, before we head over... Oh, sweet. There's some more. Before we head over to the radio tower. Warning. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Ooh, what is this? <gasps> Data box! I do not have the oxygen for this. <gasps> New blueprint synthesized. Uh, oxygen plant? Oxygen plant? Oxygen. Oh dear. Hmm. That surface looks pretty close. <gasps> oh, clutch. So what was the point of the table coral? Well, the short answer is actually uh, a computer chip. But the long answer is we're actually going to be making the mobile vehicle bay, which now we have the resources to make. And I happen to know where some sea truck fragments are. Yep, we're heading to the island that has the radio tower on top of it. It also has these big guys. Um, makes sense that such a fearsome creature would be guarding such a valuable scannable. I really want to scan these guys, but... <laughs> Bro, we get chewed up. Oh! No! Is he coming? What? Oh! Oh, they just charge! Oxygen. Oh! Go, 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 go! Ow, 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 ow. I wonder if we could scan him. They kind of have like a charge thing. And if we dodge that, then we're good. All right, come here. We're scanning you. You magnificent creature, you. How about you just... Crypto Suchus? <gasps> Scanned him. And now he wants to eat us. All right, come on. Cover, cover, cover. Ha 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 ha. Oh no! <laughs> Run! Run for your life! <laughs> okay, so this is the first guy we scanned, Brute Shark. Um, apparently it is low intelligence. That might be why it like totally forgot about us when we were behind it. And then also it says it's kind of slow moving. So it's not really something to be terrified of. So the Crypto Suchus, uh, if that's how you say it, might not be. <laughs> Apparently they're more about posturing. So they're not actually like, that's why it wasn't really going for us. It like kind of charged and then it's like, who cares? What? Oh, I'm getting cold. It's fine though, because uh, we have somewhere warm to go. Um, apparently it's more roar than bite though. So that's, that kind of explains its behavior a little bit. We might need to go by the geothermal vents and warm up. Yeah, there we go. All warm now. Ooh, you're a new creature. And I see a scan part. Let's scan you first. Rock puncher. Sounds painful if you get punched by him. <laughs> sea truck fragment. Okay, this is the last one we need. Awesome. All right, that's one of the main things we came here for. So we came to the island for more than just the sea truck fragments, right? Yeah. Yeah, the story is here. In fact, that radio tower is where we need to go next. There's some information about the mystery. This is a recorded message. If you can hear this, you're trespassing. All right, so we just got warned off by somebody. But the reason that we're here is because of our dead sister. The mysterious disappearance seems to be not her fault, and potentially the answers are at the radio station. So we're going to go check this out. Thermal Lily. Aha. We can finally see what these things are called. Hmm. Ooh, these are food. Yum. Oh. Ooh! Stop right there, Altera. You're out of bounds. Uh-oh. I'm not with Altera. Then your position Ooh. is doubly precarious. Who are you? Stay off my land. But, but you just left your land. 
So now you're giving me permission to stay on your land? The woman in the exosuit has been traced as far as my technology will allow. Yeah? It would appear I'm far less alone on this planet than I had anticipated. Huh. Oh yeah, yeah. De Delta Station. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Is this her base? If this is her base, she needs to uh, fix it up a little bit, I think. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff to scan in here. Jukebox! <laughs> Ooh, modification station. That usually has good tech. There's nothing left for me to do but quit. But I know that's what the birds want me to do. Oh, and I got the tower up and running. Maintenance complete. Oh, 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 a data box. Scanner room. All right, all right. Some good tech here. Also, I'm almost certain that that wasn't her base because... Yeah, there's snow everywhere. The window's broken, so there's no way she could stay warm. And apparently, I've been finding logs of other people. There was somebody called Jeremiah who lived here. Oh, I missed a poster. Hey, <laughs> Um... And he was, like, pretty much going crazy. Oh, hey, look at this. Yeah, Jeremiah Mergle. And Fred Lachance. What? Pick up snow? I have a snowball! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna freeze. It's okay. Alright, here we go. The radio tower itself. So it seems like Sam probably worked on this island, and so maybe there will be... Hopefully the angry lady doesn't come back. <laughs> Although I feel like if she was going to come back any at any point. Oh, there's the crazy guy, Jeremiah. <laughs> Whoa, this island is huge. What do we have here? Satellite surveillance active status report what oh, we got a status report sounds suspicious what test override module port how none of my buttons are working <laughs> I suppose a knife isn't probably the best tool to fix this I probably need something else what? Aha, there's an operating manual on the ground. So apparently we need a test override module. Um, we insert that into the diagnostic report, and then it disables distress signals, security alerts, and spy transmissions. Which sounds like it's important. Um, the activate test mode button is down below. Yeah, so here's the enter test mode button. It's all grayed out because we don't have the... The module. But... Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, so uh, at least we know what we need. There we go, get some warmth. Alright, let's check out that status report. Oh, two active human life forms detected. I don't know if that includes me, but I'm gonna guess it doesn't. Because that surveillance port report was already there. Unauthorized habitat construction and vehic vehicular activity detected. Observe and prepare for possible intervention. Hmm. Okay, so I just like walk down some stairs and look at this. There's like all these little things that give you gold and then boom, so many. My goodness. And then there's like some crystal and sulfur here too. Man, I don't have the inventory space to uh, pick all these up because I picked up all the posters. <laughs> Hey, hey, look, they'll be cool when they go in our base, okay? Oh, look, there's stuff here. And it's beeping. What? What is going on? Alright, this thing is, like, super suspicious. So I'm actually going to drop a beacon here. I, I didn't literally mean drop it. I want to place it. Oh, I... They can supposedly be used on land now, right? There we go, okay. Yeah, so we'll call this suspicious blinking. Because that's what it's doing, I guess. Hmm, 
Yeah, I can't interact with it in any way, so. We'll save that for later. Maybe we need something else. Oh, here we go. Aha, Skyray. They're from the first game. They're cool, they just like fly around, make cool noises. This alien technology cool. exhibits a data signature that strongly correlates with the previously recorded <gasps> distress call. I was just about to start looking for the distress call. We, we heard data this Morse code SOS call was thing. From. I've just been like going everywhere. To PDA. Oh, we got a signal location. Dude, the more signal locations, the better. Material and now. It's an ion cube. <laughs> so now we have a choice to make. There's two signals here. The alien distress call origin, which I believe was 200 meters down or the pilot's last known position, which seems to also be deep. We can only go to one of these this episode, I think, and they're in opposite directions, so I'm going to have to make a decision about which to go to. And it seems to me that Robin, uh, what they've said about her is that she is a xenobiologist, so she studies alien stuff, so I figure we should probably go to the alien distress call, right? Because crazy lady was like, gonna kill us, well, she, she, she wanted to be left alone. I don't know that she wanted to kill us, but she's pretty hostile. So maybe we go here and hope things are less hostile. That's what I'm thinking. It looks like to get down there, we don't have the oxygen required. Oy. Oh, dude, the roar is so scary. Like, he's probably not going to come and attack me. He just wants to eat a fish, but... Ooh, yeah, so I don't think we have the oxygen to get all the way down there, but we do have the sea truck, and I'm thinking that might be our path down. The good news is I think that we have the technology to make the uh, enhanced O2 thing as well, because I found some silver. But first, let us deploy the mobile vehicle bay and see what the recipe for the sea truck is. If it is even possible to make it in the first place. <laughs> Hopefully it will be. What do we got? What do we got? Vehicles. Hmm. hmm. A power cell. I don't know how to make a power cell. I don't think. Or an advanced wiring kit. And I don't know where lead is. Hmm. Oh man, only 53 new blueprints? <laughs> there was a lot of stuff to scan on that island. A lot of stuff. Here, let's pin this. Oh, I do know how to make a power cell and advanced wiring kit. Do I have two silver? Do I have three silver? Oh, I only have two. Oh, I have three silver. Okay, we can make the sea truck and we can make the oxygen. All right, let's unequip the standard O2 tank and we should be able. Oh, high capacity O2. How much does this hold? Fill it up. 135. Oh my. That is a lot. Aha. Galena. And lead. Let's go. Yes. Aha. The third piece of lead. Excellent. Alright, here we go. Here's the computer chip. This is the last piece we need for the sea truck. An advanced wiring kit. Awesome. We got all the parts. All right, between our new oxygen, high capacity oxygen tank and the sea truck, which we're going to craft right now, we should be able to get low enough to get to the new beacon. Oh boy, that's gonna make a splash. <laughs> oh no! Oh, it bopped, oh, the penguin's fine. He just got bopped a little bit. <laughs> All right, cool. It's like a sea moth, but smaller somehow. How do you get in? There's a power cell. Ah, there's a hatch on the top. Oh, ho, ho. where is it? Alien distress call. Off we go. Oh, look at what I found here. I'm, I'm getting really close 
to the alien distress call origin. Although you'll notice, if you look up at the top, see how it says 150 in yellow? That means that the max depth of the sea truck is 150. So it's a little short, but hopefully it should be enough that we can get oxygen and stuff. But I saw this while I was going there. Figured we'd scan it. Can probably start growing some stuff. Now, as you can see, it's not enough to just find the distress call. We have to figure out how to get down there. It's 120 meters down still. That's the thing that I can't pronounce. <laughs> Maybe if we go down this way, there will be some cave systems. Try that. Hmm. Doesn't seem like there's any caves down here. Ow! I'm gonna break this truck. I just got it! Okay. Gotta be more gentle. Okay, this goes down a ways. I don't know if the sea truck can go down there. Warning. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. This definitely goes deep enough. But does it go back that way? Root pustule. Yummy. Oxygen Look efficiency this guy. greatly decreased. Spinnerfish. You just kind of keep spinning. Just keep spinning. New creature <laughs> discovered. Doesn't look like it goes in the correct direction of the uh, distress call, though. So this little cave system might be a bust as well. Oh, there's bubbles over there. <gasps> no. Oh, that looked like a crab squid for a second. I was like, no, 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 not crab squids. There's the fake crab squids. Eyeball squid. <laughs> kind of what it looks like. Oh, whoa, that one's actually tiny. I didn't realize how close it was. It's actually called an eye jelly. <laughs> what do you know? All right, so they're probably not hostile. Just don't touch them. <laughs> Oh, I just bopped this thing. What is it? I'm so sorry. Is it dead? Pinnacarid. Oh, there's there's more. Don't steal my stuff, you little goober. Hello. You're cool. I didn't mean to bop this one. You just swam in front of me. Oh, they're friendly. And it says, shows no aggression towards humans, and even curiosity if there's a chance of a meal. I guess we could get them a meal. wonder if that'd make up for it. I'm sorry I bopped your friend. Would you like a fish? Not you. What? Oh, he liked the fish. So are we friends now? He's just leaving. Fine. Dude, he's like hanging out around me now. I think he might follow me. All right, back to the, uh, back to this, I guess. We'll see how far he follows me, I suppose. Oh, dude, look, he's coming. Oh my word, he's so friendly. As soon as he gets to me, he kind of just like wanders around, but he actually like follows me. That's so cool. I think I found it, and this is as far as the sea truck can go, which is not great news, to be honest, but it looks like it really goes deep down there, and the distress call is only... Yeah, I think we're going the right way. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm going to leave as many of the oxygen plants I, as I can, so we can get out of here alive. Ooh, what's this? Creature egg. Why are there so many beacons? It makes it kind of smell like a trap. Cause like normally when you have a distress beacon, right? You just, you're just distressed and you send out a beacon from wherever you crashed. But this is like a trail. Oh, oh, we found something. Oh, we found something. Search 
to our critical. Hello? Is someone there? <laughs> In a manner of speaking. We're running out of time. I, the xenobiologist, am here. Don't what you worry. Seeking an emergency storage museum. Seeking? I can help you better if you show yourself. Yes, please. If we show ourselves, we would not need storage. What? You mean you don't have a physical presence? Oh. Are you one of them? An architect? Storage museum identified. We will oh. be lost unless we find a new host. Can you help? Yes, Can you use my PDA for storage? You are not with the group from before. Your cybernetic components... Oh, people came here before, eh? Oh, Terra? No, my equipment is, uh, borrowed. You will have to be. <laughs> borrowed. Ooh, it's an ion cube. How long have you been stored here? Longer than you. Warning. Sanctuary power. Critical. That's not good. Our data can be downloaded from the terminal. We may speak more once the transfer is complete. Where's the terminal? Somebody yes. forgot the terminal. Okay. Hurry. Oh. Alien containment cube. Oh. <laughs> it appeared behind me and trapped me. <laughs> okay. Insert storage medium. Okay. There you go. PDA. Storage medium accepted. Brace from Chester. Right. Brace? Wait. Ah! Hey! I'm not the PDA! What's happening? You missed. Oh my. Uh oh. Uh, oh. Chester complete. Bro, I'm an alien! How do you feel? Why do you sound like you're inside my head? The facility identified hospitable capacity within your cerebral cortex. Yeah, but that's you my cerebral are cortex. In my head? I offered you my PDA. Get out! <laughs> I know. Does your kind perceive a boundary between cybernetic and organic components? My yes. mind is not a component. You sound angry. We will allow you a moment to process. Oh, how thoughtful. Don't you go silent on me. <laughs> Hello? Um, this is not happening. I was gonna scan that. It's not happening. Oh, cool! I can still scan it. <laughs> um, so I am now an alien, or there's an alien in my head, and he just jumped into my head. He didn't ask for permission very well. I think he thought he was asking for permission, but he wasn't really. <laughs> Why couldn't you have been a host, you little alien robot? <laughs> you know what would have been nice? Is if he was gonna just stuff himself inside of my head, I would have liked some alien superpowers. You know? Oh, dude, all the blinking stopped. So I saved him. But, uh... Yeah, he's in my head now. And I think with that... We're going to have to end it here. <laughs> Don't worry, there will be more episodes coming every third weekend. But uh, this has been a pretty cool episode. We got a ton of tech, a ton of scans, and some new mysteries to explore for next episode. But that is going to do it for this one. So I hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you in the next one. Later, later.